to WT Toys. Wow, guys, great to see you again. We're gonna have another awesome, huge Jurassic World surprise egg. Wow, I wonder what we're gonna pull out of here. Uh, before we do, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Jurassic World dinosaur toys I bought again. Because, you know what, guys, I really do like these toys. I mean, Hasbro did not do all that great of a job, but you know what? There's some nice, unique toys in here. I mean, I've bought these toys already three times, the majority of them. So, you know, if I'm gonna buy that many, that means I like them. So, that is just a few of the new ones I rebought. But anyways, our main focus is today is the giant egg. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's see what was in here. Okay, a 15 pack of Jurassic World miniatures, awesome. And here's one that couldn't fit in the box. This is a Smithsonian five piece dinosaur collection. T-Rex comes alive with sound, cool. And then we have DreamWorks Dragons. This is Race to the Edge. This is the Deadly Natter Action Dragon. Tail twist, spike attack, cool. And then we have a 3D Dino Puzzle Leg. Another 3D Dino Puzzle Leg. And a 4D Dinosaur Puzzle Leg. Awesome! Okay, let's go ahead and open these up and have some fun. Okay, so the first thing we have is the five piece dinosaur collection. So got a very annoying annoying roar but let's check out the back it says bring the past to life there is some cool facts about the toy and there is some fun facts about t-rex if you want to pause it okay let's go ahead and take this guy out of the package and check it out because it's got a really cool background to check that out it's like a cool background I mean it really makes it pop off 3d and it's supposed to come with a poster so let's see what type of poster oh awesome an awesome t-rex poster cool lots of facts from the Smithsonian Museum okay so let's check these out first of all it comes with a little paracephalosaurus uh, these are kind of cheap figures guys. I mean they're cheaper plastic and they're hollow so I'm not all that impressed with them. Then uh, Ceratosaurus. This is like a gray with red stripes on the sides. And then uh, Velociraptor but they must have been taking a clue from the early Hasbro Raptor toys because they did not give it the sickle claw the third claw or the ripping claw so that is kind of disappointing once again that's a real cheap figure they gave a tree as one of the five and this big roaring t-rex which once again it's a hollow very super lightweight body so i am a little disappointed in that i mean it looks cool from a distance and very annoying roar. I mean, the mouth lights up like that, so it might be fun for younger kids. So if you pull the arm, it lights up. But other than that, I don't know. I mean, even at a distance, this guy's not all that cool. You can see the teeth are one piece, so it's not individual teeth. The texture is pretty cheap looking. You got a big battery there. So this is something I would have a really hard time recommending this to anybody. I mean, this is something they probably sold at the museum shop for uh, whoever was going through the museum that day. Okay, so maybe stay away from that one. Okay, but these DreamWorks Dragon toys are awesome, guys. They are made by Spin Master. These are sold at Toys R Us. So these are sold at Toys R Us, uh, but they're from, let me go ahead and remove them. They're from the uh, TV show Race to the Edge, so they got a bunch of cartoon episodes. Here it says, 
opposable wings, tail twists, spike action, and here is some of the other ones you could buy. I do got most of those, so I will be reviewing those in the near future. I've reviewed a couple of them already, so go ahead and check out my playlists. But anyways, this one has the spikes right here. It's like, they look almost similar to Nerf, but they're like hard plastic. So let's see how easy this is to use. So you load all three of them here. I have never fired this guy, so let's see how it works for you and for me. So you go ahead and turn the tail here and, whoa, that's cool, wow. Awesome, so it shoots all three out. So this is the Deadly Natter. A lot of them guys also do come with the characters, but this one does not, so that's a little disappointing. Uh, for you guys that have watched the show, can you tell me which character rides this dragon? Off the top of my head, I don't know, so go ahead, let me know, inform me, and you are the Dragon Master. Awesome. So uh, this one has wings that move back and forth, so that's cool. You can open and close the mouth, but it doesn't seem to have action feature that does it. The way the mouth and the wings hinge would be nice if it had like a push button you could push and flap the wings. It would make it a lot more realistic. But anyways, uh, these are good quality, really nice big wings, like a green and orange color scheme. They do move all the way up and then they move pretty much flat. Nice big mouth with a painted tongue. Really good paint job for a uh, cheaper toy. Spikes on the back here. The eyes are like really cool looking how they painted the eyes. And here is a good look at the bottom. The legs do move a good amount so you could pose this guy into a lot of different positions. So like I said, really cool Spin Master toys. Toys R Us is still selling these. Uh, I'm recording this December of 2017 and Toys R Us still has a whole bunch of them. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check it out. Okay, and we have another brand new Jurassic World 15 pack. You can see this thing is sealed. I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing open right here. But if you do do this at home, be careful with sharp scissors. You don't want to hurt yourself. So, cut this open, pop it open, and let's see if we got any new ones. So I have opened a lot of these guys because I really like these miniature figures. They are awesome. And they come in different color schemes. So I'm going to go ahead and free them from these triangles that they put them in to protect them. And we'll check them out. Okay, I'll put a link below the video where you could buy these uh, dinosaur toys also. But let's check out what we got. Okay, so we've got a green and sort of like gold colored uh, Stegosaurus. So this one I've gotten several times so it's not that rare and then we got a green and almost like an olive color uh, triceratops which again is a pretty common color for that and then we've got a gray and almost like gold color stegosaurus which I don't believe I got this color scheme before because that is a really cool looking Stegosaurus. And then we've got a brown and yellow uh, Velociraptor, which I've got this one already several times. And then we have a uh, green Triceratops, I mean green T-Rex, sorry, <laughs> Triceratops. <laughs> Okay, so green T-Rex. Ah, uh, the cool thing is all of these have the little JW logo on them. And then we've got another green T-Rex. So you've got two of those in the same package. Uh, every one of these is guaranteed to have one Indominus. And this one is a pretty rare color here. Uh, most of them are like the gray color, but this one's like a light brown, darker brown 
tiny red eyes. I mean, it's so hard to see the eyes. But they did such a good job painting the eyes. I mean, if they would have taken the detail, put this detail into the bigger figures, I think they would have looked a lot better. And then we have uh, gold and like cream color Spinosaurus, which I've got this one before also. And then we got in the same package a brown and black Spinosaurus. I've got that one too, but this one's more uh, rare of a color scheme. We've got a red and black Allosaurus, which this one is a really common one. I mean, you get this one in a lot of packages. And then a brown and red Pachycephalosaurus. This one I've gotten before too. It's not as common, usually uh, they're green with those ones. And then we got a cool Mosasaurus, brown, green, gray, and black, which I've gotten those color schemes before. And then uh, Dimetrodon, I don't know if I got this color before. It's like a gray, orange, lighter gray with like orange on the head. So this guy's really cool looking too. And then uh, Pterodactyl, which that one is a pretty common color there. And then an Ankylosaurus. So this one's a brown Ankylosaurus, which again, very common color. And guys, I am super excited about the new Jurassic World uh, toys from the Lost Kingdom movie that will be coming out. Uh, I have been in contact with Mattel. So hopefully they'll be sending me those like as soon as they come out, maybe even before they're available at stores. So keep watching my channel to see that. And also I'm planning on going to the Toy Fair in New York in February. So over there, there uh, more than likely they will have all of the Jurassic World 2 toys. So I should be showing you guys those before they come out. Okay, and then we have the 3D puzzle eggs. So let's see which one this is. These ones are cool. Uh, I did buy these on Amazon. So if it's something you're interested in, follow my link below this video. Because if you do, I do get a small percent of what you buy. But it costs you the exact same amount. So you're helping my channel and getting awesome toys. So most of these come, I believe, in 21 pieces, but I don't really like taking them all apart because they do get a little complicated, but if you do like to do that, then that is something it's definitely you should be interested in. But my suggestion is don't follow the instructions, just put this thing together by instinct. So it looks like, yeah, okay, so that piece was there, it just wasn't fitting quite right here. Because uh, it is a lot funner if you play it by ear, so basically just don't follow the instructions. I mean, just go ahead, pick up these pieces, move them around, figure out how to put the puzzle together. In my opinion, that's a lot funner. Uh, some of these, you do have to put it on before you put it together, but once again, that's something you wanna play around with, so. And there is for just fill up. Okay. So I'm getting there. So they are really fun puzzles, guys. I mean, this is great for uh, kids and adults. I mean, I enjoy putting these together because once you're done, they look totally awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at this Stegosaurus. I mean, that is a really cool Stegosaurus, and they are secure. I mean, you have to pull this thing with some force to get it apart. Okay, then here we've got a brown one. That looks cool. Let's see what this guy is. I 
think it's a T-Rex. Wow, this is a T-Rex, a red T-Rex. How cool. Wow, so he is mostly put together. I mean, if you want, you could take him apart. Like I said, these guys do come in like 21 pieces. So you go ahead and snap all the pieces together. And they are the coolest 3D puzzles, guys. I mean, I love these toys. I can't say enough about them. And they are super high quality. I mean, this is not a cheap piece of junk. I mean, I, I really like these. And I'm not just advertising them, guys, because I bought these with my own money. I mean, these were not sent to me by anybody. So, really cool T-Rex. Check that out. Red and blue T-Rex. Awesome. Okay, we got one more egg. I believe this one is the uh, 4D egg, they call it. But really, it's still a 3D puzzle. Wow, this one comes in a lot of pieces. Gonna have to do quite a bit of assembly on this one. Cool. So, uh, as you can tell, these are from different manufacturers. But I did buy all of them on Amazon, so... That's cool. So this one, once again, is about 21 pieces, but it's mostly put together. So let us continue putting this one together so you guys can check it out. Like I said, some of these, you do have to put them together in certain order to get them to fit. And you know what, like I said, that's the fun part. I mean, when you get these, rip them all apart, and just improvise. Just go piece by piece, say, hmm, does this piece fit over here? Okay, so that piece fits over there. And then we need another big flat piece. So this one looks like it'll fit over here. And then we've got some tail pieces. Uh, that one doesn't look quite correct. Okay, it looks like those are the leg pieces. That is the tail piece. The leg pieces. Let's see. Now. Does that look right? Or does that look right? I don't know, but what I do know is I will have to take this guy apart to fit the leg pieces in. So you want to go ahead put one leg piece in here okay so with the leg pieces you have to sort of slide it behind here like this and then same with the other one so it does sort of like hook on right there and then you go ahead and snap this piece over the top of them to hold them them right on there because if you don't it doesn't fit. So, there. This thing. Okay and then one more leg piece over here and awesome wow so this one is an acrocanthosaurus really cool colors check that out you've got like yellow black orange Really super nice detail, guys. I think I might have the tail. Yep, I've got the tail upside down. Okay, cool. Awesome. Wow, guys, that was a totally awesome giant surprise egg. If you did like it, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button under the video. And if you want to see more videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll be notified every time I make a new video. But I do got over a thousand videos right now, guys. Most of them in Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, King Kong, Godzilla. Fun uh, toy openings and battles. Wow. If you want to see a Jurassic World playlist, wait till the end of this video. If you want to see the other ones, go to the playlist on my channel. You guys are totally awesome. And I will see you tomorrow. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video.
click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos and if you want to see even more go ahead and click the subscribe button.